Well, one of R. Kelly's accusers says she has proof that the Grammy-winning singer tried to intimidate her into staying silent about his alleged abuse. Faith Rogers answered questions at a news conference yesterday before meeting with police in New York. In an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning, Rogers and her attorney, Gloria Allred, talked with Jerika Duncan about what she has endured since she first spoke out against the singer. Jerika, good morning. Good morning, Bianna. We first met Faith Rogers last May. She told us about the alleged mental, sexual, and verbal abuse she says she went through during a relationship with R. Kelly when she was just 19 years old. Her lawsuit filed last year claims R. Kelly knowingly gave her an STD. And since coming forward, Rogers says the R&B singer has threatened her and her family. It's been over seven months since we first interviewed you about your R. Kelly allegations. How has your life changed? The first time we spoke, it was negative. Now um, I have more support, but I'm finding my strength and I'm pressing forward with everything I need to do. Faith Rogers is pressing forward by coming forward about alleged abuse she says she suffered at the hands of R&B singer R. Kelly. Backed by famed attorney Gloria Allred, the 21-year-old spoke to New York police Monday and unveiled a threatening letter allegedly written by Kelly last October. Mr. Kelly appears to have been engaging in a campaign of intimidation and retaliation. In the notarized letter to a lawyer representing Rogers, which she says also contained compromising photos of her, Kelly allegedly wrote, if she persists in court action, she will be subjected to public opinion and demanded Rogers provide test results proving the origin of her STD claim. The letter also said Kelly would request 10 personal male witnesses testifying about Rogers' sex life. It just validates the monster that he is. That's what it does. I realize that's his defense. But his defense is only revealing his true colors. Kelly's attorney told us the letter is a fake, saying R. Kelly can't read, write, or type. He didn't send any letter. It was R. Kelly. And who are you to tell R. Kelly now? Rogers is one of several accusers who appeared in the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, which chronicled years of accusations against the singer. Allred now represents three women, including Rogers, who say Kelly victimized them. This has been building for quite a while, but now it's approaching a tsunami for Mr. Kelly. And now because we have young women of courage, like Faith, those who are watching and listening are needing to pay attention. We also spoke with Roger's mother, who says she hopes other women will come forward. You're a pastor's wife. I am. You guys talk about forgiveness, I'm sure, at church. Absolutely. Is there any way you could ever see yourself forgiving R. Kelly? Can I forgive him? Absolutely. He needs help. Um, not only mental help, he needs spiritual help. Do you think he should be in jail? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rogers' attorneys say they don't know if criminal charges are imminent, but Rogers believes Kelly's days in the limelight are numbered. If R. Kelly is watching this right now, what would you say to him? Better think of something quick. I'm running out of time. Well, Kelly has denied all wrongdoing and claims all sexual acts with his accusers were consensual. Investigators in Georgia and reportedly are reportedly looking into some abuse claims, but the local DA would not comment. Now, more artists are distancing themselves from R. Kelly, Celine Dion, and Chance the Rapper have reportedly pulled their music collaborations with him from streaming services. And, you know, we've reached out to his manager. I've actually spoken to him a number of times. He has no comment. Um, I think people are interested in hearing from him yeah. because he there are so many people coming out against him and these artists are saying, you know what? I don't want anything to yeah. do with you at this point. And he continues to deny all of the allegations yeah. and says that it's consensual. But Thank you. the drumbeat against him is really getting louder and louder. It is. Thank you, Joy Kim. Yep.